we know we're living in dark times. It's getting darker, darker, crazier and crazier and definitely more bizarre. That's why you have to strive to live in the spirit so Satan won't try to live in you. I'm going on, I'm going on Until the final triumph I'm going on, I'm going on I'm going on Until the final triumph I'm going on Should oppositions come should foes obstruct my way? Should persecution fires be lit as in the ancient day? With Jesus by my side, his peace within my soul. No matter if the battle's hot, I mean to win the goal. I'm going on, I'm going on. Until the final triumph, I'm going on, I'm going on, I'm going on. Until the final triumph, I'm going on. Hi, this is Pat with Pat's Two Cents with God's Church of Love every Saturday. And we are reading from the book of Galatians in the New Testament, <clears throat> starting at verse 13 to the end. For brethren, ye have been called unto liberty. Only use not liberty for an occasion to the flesh, but by love serve one another. For all the laws fulfilled in one word, even this, Thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. But if ye bite and devour one another, take heed that ye be not consumed one of another. This I say then, walk in the spirit and ye shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. For the flesh lusteth against the spirit and the spirit against the flesh. And these are contrary the one to the other, so that you cannot do the things that ye would. Let me add to that so it makes sense to some of you who can't understand scripture. So that you cannot do the things that you would if you could. You would be able to do, but you can't. So you ain't because you're trying to do it in the flesh. Okay, verse 18. But if ye be led of the Spirit, ye are not under the law. Now the works of the flesh are manifest, which are these. Adultery, fornication, <clears throat> fornication, uncleanness, lasciviousness, idolatry, witchcraft, hatred, variance, emulations, wrath, seditions, heresies, envyings, murders, drunkenness, revelings, and such like of the which I tell you before, as I've told you in time past, that they which do such things shall not. Let me repeat those two words. Shall not inherit the kingdom of God. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, meekness, temperance, which is self-control. Against such, there is no law. Verse 24, and they that are Christ have crucified the flesh with, with the affections and the lust. If we live in the spirit, let us also walk in the spirit. Let us not be desirous of vain glory, provoking one another, envying one another. Now, <clears throat> the Lord gave me an analogy while I was getting ready for the message today. And one of the things he gave me was an image of a car. Now, some of you who have cars, you know that you have to have enough oil in order for that car to run smoothly, correct? If you have a good running car and when the engine is on, you almost can't hear it when you're at the signal light waiting for the light to turn green because it's a smooth running car. It runs like a well-oiled machine, so to speak. So 
it's well oiled. You've got all the fluids at the right levels. Everything's running smoothly. Everything's moving in sync. Timing, everything is right. But you forget to take care of the oil. Think about this. What happens when the oil, now picture the oil you need for your car. As we walk with the Lord, we need the oil of God's anointing to walk by his ways or else we will fall flat on our face at every turn. Now, the oil is the anointing. So picture the car now. You forget to put the oil in the car. You forget to get the oil changed. One year goes by, two years go by, and you notice you're starting to hear a lot of pin, tick, 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 when the car idles, you hear this little clicking noise. That means you're low. Your oil is low. Well, let me tell you, your flesh, this is what God was showing me. Your flesh will make a lot of noise, baby. The less oil you have, the lower the level of your oil and your love tank. Not gas tank, your love tank. Everything in you is going to start making noise. You're going to start getting loud. Your temperament's going to get raunchy. Your patience is going to get short. You're going to overheat because you don't have enough living water flowing through you. You haven't been in the Lord's presence, so your battery level is low. Do you hear what I'm saying? So you've got to stay in God's presence. Stay in God's word because the one thing I notice, smart people do this when they're getting ready to go on a long excursion. They're getting ready to go on a long drive, a long journey. Maybe they're going to drive for four or five hours or they're going to drive for four or five days with, you know, breaks in between. The first thing they do is take that car and make sure that everything is right. The tires have been rotated. If they got the right amount of air, they've got enough tread. Everything is running. They make sure that the car has a whole checkup to make sure that it's travel worthy. It's road worthy. Do you know in these last days, baby cakes, you have got to be road worthy. Because the way ahead of you is going to be a bumpy ride just based on what's happening in these last days. You know the way everything is going south. Everything is moving as far away from God as possible. Blaspheme God over here. Blaspheme God over there. Everything that, that God says is an abomination. They're trying to shove down your throat and make you live by it. Make you accept it. Make you like it. Well, let me tell you, God ain't liking it, and neither should we. But the only way you're going to stay in sync with your manufacturer, you're going to work according to the manual, the Bible, and you're going to run like a well-oiled machine and be totally roadworthy for all of the challenges that lie on the road ahead of you. You're going to have to be up to snuff. You're going to have to have the anointing, the Holy Spirit, the power of God working in you. You've got to have the mind of Christ. You've got to have the love of God flowing in your heart. Because baby Jack will jump out the box so fast, your head will spin. You'll be wondering, where'd that come from? It was always there. But when all your levels get low, all your fluids and all of the power that comes from God starts getting low. Guess what? You're going to start showing your behind. And you will lose the level of self-control you had. You will lose your hunger for righteousness that you had. The things of God will grow boring and annoying. The people of God will get on your nerves. and They'll be holier than thou to you because you're not in sync with God any longer. Because you let too many things go. 
you neglected the care of your temple, of God's temple, you. So you, you have to know that in order to go through what's coming down the pipe, in order to be ready to withstand the pressures of the system that's going to begin to work against the people of God in a much bigger way than before, in order to be able to deal with the demonic attacks and the demonic people that will be attacking you in so many different ways, you've got to have the strength of God working in you big time. Because if you're not, if you don't have that meek and quiet spirit, if you're not running like a well-oiled machine, baby, Jack's going to jump out the box and you're going to make a lot of noise that, that you're going to be embarrassed about afterwards. You're going to lose control. Something going to fly out of your mouth or your hand's going to go to swinging. You're going to revert to some old ways you thought you had long since been delivered from. Let me tell you, they always have this expression, and it's where we have to be careful too. They have an expression in the streets that says, "You, at, at most of the people in society, they're one paycheck away from living on the street. One paycheck away from being homeless. Hmm. Well, guess what? We are very shy. There's a very thin line between where we are right now in the spirit realm and that flesh that wants to pull us back to the dunghill. All we got to do is neglect a few things. And before you know it, you're picking up some old habits you haven't done for 30 years. You thought that was history. You can't take that stuff for granted and you cannot afford to trust yourself because you will find if God lifts his spirit, if God lifts his hands, you find yourself doing stuff you never thought you would go back to because that's how close we are to the flesh. And the only barrier that protects us from ourselves is the Holy Spirit the presence of God, the power of God, the oil of the anointing. Do you hear me? Living water, the love of God, the mind of Christ. You have got to stay loaded up and full. Everything, your love tank, your oil, your power, your battery, everything has to be full. The breath of the Holy Spirit has to be full in your tires so you don't blow out on the road and hurt other people while you're on your way. Hmm. You've got to be careful because it doesn't take but a split second and your whole life could be changed because Jack jumped out the box at the wrong time doing the wrong thing, causing the wrong consequences. So, be very leery right in through here as we as we navigate as as Jeanette said early as we go through this unknown territory we're going by a way we've never gone before things are looking weird in the world things are feeling weird things are crazy in the atmosphere in the weather the suicides left and right the murders, the freaky murders, the crazy crimes. I'm telling you, we have got to be prayed up big time. I was talking to Peter the other night about some of the crazy stuff that was going on. And when you look around, if you are not full of God, see, in God's presence, there is fullness of joy. Hmm. The joy of the Lord is our strength. I'm saying it real slow so you really get what's coming. Because as long as you are maintenancing your walk with the Lord, as long as you are, are keeping up and taking care, guarding what you have, guarding this 
treasure that you carry in an earthen vessel. You'll be all right when the, when the rough times come. You'll know where to look for your strength. You'll know what to lean on, who to lean on, how to lean on them, how hard to lean. You'll know to cry out to them. You'll know who to turn to for your sustenance. But if you're looking to people, if you're focusing on all the things that's going on, your nerves will be wrecked. You'll be blowing up, short-tempering and snapping at people like, like we talked the other night. Snapping at people you're not even mad at. And they're wondering, well, what did I do? Uh-uh. No, your tanks are low. Your levels are low. Always ask God to check your levels. You hear me? And for those of you who do not know the Lord, you need him big time. I'm not even talking about for heaven or hell's sake right now. You need him for, to live here and now. This world is crazy, y'all. It's contaminated. It's toxic. And if you don't get into the Lord, the devil will get into you. And you will be shocked at the things you find yourself leaning toward. You'll be shocked at the things the devil convinces you to do. You'll be shocked. Because you're not aware of what's going on in the atmosphere. The unseen world is sly, slick, and wicked on the evil side. But on God's side, oh man, you got all kind of reinforcements on your side working for you. But if you're not in him, you don't get all those fringe benefits. It's not guaranteed. Ha, huh. all right. So all I say is get ready for these last days, please. Understand that we're traveling through an obstacle course. We're ducking and dodging, avoiding all the evil we can. Do you hear what I'm saying? We're staying away from toxic people. We're avoiding uh, people who are caught up in, in the demonic. We avoid anything that has to do with the dark side because that's not who we are. So be very careful. Um, this is going to be a short message because I'm going with what God gave me and not every message has to be a half an hour to an hour long. So I hope you got something out of that. You got to stay prayed up. You got to stay in that word. You got to stay in God's presence. Talk to him about everything, even the stuff that you don't think you're supposed to say to God. Yes, baby. Pour your heart out to him. The Bible says to do that. He already knows what you're going through, but you draw closer to him. The more time you spend with him, the, the better your chances of actually experiencing him manifest himself to you. And he does. So all I ask you to do is be prepared. Be all dressed up. Have your, your armor on. Be prayed up. Be powered up. Be oiled up. Have, be greasy and slippery with the oil of God's anointing. Because the devil can't grip you. He can't get a hold on you if you're slippery and greasy. Think about that. You try to catch something and you try to grab it and it's, it's covered with oil. You cannot get a grip on that baby. Satan cannot get his hand on you as long as you, as you stay oiled up. Keep that oil tank full, y'all. Keep your lamps trimmed and burning. Amen? All right. Keep your lamps trimmed and burning. Keep your lamps trimmed and burning. Keep your lamps trimmed and burning. The time is growing short. Children, don't get weary. Don't get weary, children, don't get weary till your work is done.